Hi everyone, I'm Yong Hao. In this video, I will introduce our recent work about universal adversarial examples in remote sensing. This is the work that I conducted with Padron, which has recently been published in IEEE Transactions on Geoscience and Remote Sensing. First, I will give a brief introduction about the research background. One limitation of the modern AI technology, especially the deep learning, is that sometimes it can be cheated. Here is one example, the adversarial t-shirt. This figure shows that with the adversarial t-shirt, a pedestrian can get invisible from the state-of-the-art object detection system, just like the right person in the frames. Another example is the adversarial sticker which can deceive the face recognition system. We can see that the sticker has very weird patterns. And if a person wears this adversarial sticker, the face recognition system cannot achieve the identification anymore. Actually, the technique used in these interesting applications is adversarial attack. Given an image, for example, a panda, the goal of adversarial attack is to generate some imperceptible perturbations. The adversarial examples can then be generated by simply adding the perturbation to the original image. Although the adversarial example may look very similar to the original clean image, it can successfully deceive the deep neural networks to make wrong predictions. In the remote sensing field, there also exists the threat of adversarial example. We can successfully change the predicted category from airplane to runway with the adversarial attack methods. This phenomenon actually is not limited to the RGB domain. Instead, we can also find that adversarial attack can significantly change the spectral characteristic of specific objects in the hyperspectral domain. Here we make a brief introduction for some of the classical adversarial attack algorithms. The first one is box constrained LBFGS. Given a clean image X, our goal is to generate an imperceptible perturbation rho. Adding this perturbation to the original image X, we can then obtain the adversarial example X plus rho. Recall that we hope the adversarial example can deceive the classifier f to make a wrong prediction. Then we can get the following objective function. Since the optimization of box constrained LBFGS is very difficult in practice, the fast gradient sign method is proposed. The idea is very simple and straightforward. We can fulfill it by the gradient ascent algorithm. FGSM can also be extended with different normalization, for example, the L2 and L infinity norms. Another natural idea is to iteratively generate the adversarial examples, that is, the iterative FGSM. Instead of generating the adversarial example with a single step of gradient ascent, IFGSM can iteratively update the generated adversarial examples. One limitation of the aforementioned algorithms is the dependence of knowledge from the victim model, including its architecture and parameters, since we need all this knowledge to calculate the gradients. However, in the practical application scenario, this information would not be accessible in many cases. Therefore, the goal of this research is to generate universal adversarial examples for remote sensing data without any prior knowledge of the victim model, and the generated adversarial examples are expected to deceive deep neural networks with different architectures. To achieve this goal, one possible solution is to adopt a known deep neural network as the surrogate model to generate the adversarial examples and attack the unknown victim model. However, it is found that the transferability of adversarial examples from a particular surrogate model may be very limited to other models. For example, 
the adversarial examples generated by AlexNet may be less vulnerable to other networks like the ResNet and DenseNet. The main reason is the discrepancy of the architecture between different networks. To this end, we attempt to find the similarity shared by different networks. Actually, the initial inspiration of our work comes from an observation that different networks may yield similar feature representations in a shallow layer. Thus, feature-level adversarial attacks on the shallow layer may also be more transferable. Then, a, nat a natural question would be, how can we generate a virtual image whose category can differ from any input image? One possible way is to construct virtual training examples using MixUp. MixUp is originally a method used for data augmentation with a linear combination of two training samples. In our work, we further extend the original mix-up method by involving more images from different categories. In the left figure, we show random images from different categories, and the right figure shows the generated mix-up samples with different values of nmix. Another way is to construct virtual training examples by mix cut. Here we use MI to denote a binary mask indicating where to drop out and fill in. And you can see from the right figure how the generated mix cut samples will look like. So basically, mix up samples are the linear combination of different images while mix cut samples are constructed with the slices of different images. Based on the generated virtual samples, we propose the mix-up attack. It mainly consists of three parts, an input clean image that we want to attack, a mix-up sample or mix-cut sample, and a surrogate model with known parameters. Specifically, we first define the mix loss by calculating the KL divergence between the features of a mix-up sample and the clean samples. With this loss function, we want the features of the adversary example could gradually be close to the features of the mix-up sample. We also adopt a cross-entropy loss to assist the attack. The complete loss function is a weighted combination of two losses. The detailed steps to construct a mix-up or mix-cut attack are given in this algorithm. Now let's see the experimental results. In this study, we consider two types of tasks, including the thin classification and semantic segmentation. For thin classification, we use the UCM and the AID datasets. For semantic segmentation, we use the Wehingen and Zurich Summer datasets. The evaluation metrics include the attack success rate, overall accuracy, and the F1 score. This is the quantitative results on the UCM dataset. We adopt four different surrogate models to test the attack performance. It can be found that the proposed method can achieve the highest success rate in all scenarios when the victim model is different from the surrogate model. And it is also very interesting to find that when the victim model is the same as the surrogate model, Traditional methods like the IFGSM may have better attack performance. For example, when we use the AlexNet to attack AlexNet itself, IFGSM is more powerful. This also indicates that traditional methods tend to overfit on the surrogate model and are less transferable to other victim models. On other datasets, we can observe similar results. This is a parameter analysis for the weight parameter beta used in the attack. We also conduct an ablation study to evaluate how each module in the proposed method would influence the attack performance. It can be observed that using the traditional cross-entropy loss alone would lead to limited success rate, where the proposed mixed loss can significantly improve the performance. Finally, with the help of momentum technique, 
the success rate can be further improved. We further collect the generated universal adversarial examples in a dataset named UAERS. For scene classification, we use the mixed-cut attack method to attack the ResNet-18 model and get 1,050 adversarial examples based on the UCM dataset and 5,000 adversarial examples based on the AID dataset. For semantic segmentation, we use the mix-up attack method to attack the FCN 8S model and get five adversarial images based on the Waking dataset and five adversarial images based on the Zoic Summer dataset. These are example images in the UCM dataset and corresponding adversarial examples in the UAERS dataset. We can find that the adversarial examples are very similar to the original clean images for human observers. These are examples in the AID dataset and the corresponding adversarial images in the UAERS dataset. For semantic segmentation task, we also provide a qualitative results of the adversarial attack from FCM model to the SecNet. These are the results on the waking dataset. The first column is the original clean images, and the second column shows the corresponding adversarial examples in the UAERS dataset. Although they look very similar, the SecNet model would be seriously deceived as can be observed from the fourth column. Similar phenomenon can be observed on the Zurich Summer dataset. Finally, we test the performance of the existing state-of-the-art networks on the UAERS dataset. This is a quantitative result for scene classification. We can find that this dataset is very challenging, especially on the AID samples. And most networks can only obtain an overall accuracy of less than 20%. Similar phenomenon can be observed for semantic segmentation task. Finally, I will give a brief summary for this talk. In this study, we propose a novel black box adversarial attack method named mix-up attack and a simple variant mix-cut attack for remote sensing data. Based on the proposed methods, we further provide the generated universal adversarial examples in a dataset named UAERS, which may serve as a benchmark for researchers developing adversarial defenses in the remote sensing field. Since security and reliability are important factors when addressing the remote sensing tasks, it would be very meaningful to design adversarial defense methods for remote sensing tasks and improve the accuracy of the deep models on the adversarial examples like the collected UAERS dataset. Besides, adversarial example detection can also be possible directions for future work. These are the related references. For details, please refer to our paper. Thank you.